Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you what I have packed in baby girl's hospital bag for when I go into labor. So like a few videos ago or like probably a bunch of videos ago now, I shared with you this diaper bag that my mom got for us. Um, and this is what I'm gonna use as baby girl's hospital bag. Now, like the video that I shared with you of what I packed in my hospital bag, and I'll leave that linked up above for you to check out if you missed that, I have gone pretty minimal with baby girl stuff. As minimal as I think I should be, I've packed a little bit of extra things, but like in what I packed in my hospital bag, I scoured the internet, watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and this is what I've come up with for mine. Now, worst case scenario, Lucas may need to bring some things back for us, and that's okay, because he has to leave at night anyways. Although we're like a 40 minute drive from the hospital, I'm not too worried about if he needs to pop back to the house and grab stuff, because he'll be going there nightly anyways. And worst case scenario, like the hospital's gonna have things. They're not just gonna let your baby like go without. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into what's in baby girl's hospital bag. Let's start off on the outside. We'll start in this little pocket here. So what I have in here is a passy and a clip, and this has been sterilized already. Then we'll move on to these this outer pocket. And this is kind of like changing items. So I've brought some hand sanitizer. The hospital probably has lots of hand sanitizer, but just in case, I've brought some. So it's like close by, I can keep it with me. I've brought um, cotton balls, because they prefer you to do like the baby changing and wiping with cotton balls and water. So I've brought a bag of those. But I've also brought these wipes here. This is the Mom and You brand. They are 100% biodegradable and they're 99% water, which is good. So just for those like first couple difficult poops, <laughs> um, if I need something a little more, I can. But I saw somewhere that the hospitals and the midwives do prefer you to use the cotton balls and water. So now let's dive into the main pocket. So sticking with changing, I just went out and bought a 22 pack of newborn diapers we were really fortunate to get a lot of diapers at our baby shower for the newborn phase and um, but i just didn't want to like unpack those big packs so i just went and got a small pack that she will use in the hospital but like i've said in past videos eventually we will be switching over to cloth diapers or at least that's the plan but for hospital, I brought a pack of diapers. And then this comes with the baby bag. So I just decided to bring it. And it is a changing mat, a moldable changing mat. Pretty self explanatory. So I thought I'd just keep it in there. Now let's get on to like the fun stuff, I guess. So. What I've done and what I've seen a lot of people do is they separate the baby's clothing or other items into Ziploc bags and I've done the same. So I have Ziploc bags with different things and I still need to go in and label them that way Lucas can see them better um, and just have to look at the, the what's on the bag to know what's in it because obviously I know what's in it because I packed it but for his sake, I'm gonna go in and label all these bags so he knows what's in each bag. What I'm doing different than a lot of people that um, put separate the stuff into the bags is that I'm not doing outfits. I'm doing like items. And that's just because people say that a baby doesn't need a full outfit change every single time. So let's say they've had a mess or whatever and they just need to change a sleeper but they need to change that like twice instead of having to go and dig through like a whole outfit just to get one sleeper i'd rather just have a bag of sleepers so let's dive into what's what i've brought in total so in the first bag i've just brought three long sleeve like vests then in the second bag i have I'll take them out for you three items the newborn 
a newborn swaddle, like a zip up swaddle. And this one just has little stars on it. So I brought a newborn one and then I brought the love to dream swaddle that we also have. And this is just size small. So the newborn one is obviously like small. And then I also wanted to bring one that was like bigger, but also still for like a newborn because we don't know how big she will be. And then the last thing in that bag, we also have, and I got this from Next, and it's just this pink little cardigan. If you follow me over on Instagram, you would have seen this cardigan already. <laughs> if you aren't following me over on Instagram, I'll leave my username right here. Please go give me a follow because things that aren't I'm not posting on here, I'm posting on there. Then in the third bag, this one's kind of like a mishmash of things, but it's still pretty organized. So I have two hats, and these are just newborn hats. You would have seen this in my virtual baby shower haul as well. And then inside, I've just tucked the matching mittens. So hat and mittens in two different colors. So one will be for like when the baby's first born because they like to put a hat on them when they're first born and then one will be for like the way home. Then I've packed just one muslin like burping cloth and then I've packed this um, pink swaddle. It has, so it's light pink and it has dark pink, dark pink, white and gray hearts all over it. So I've, and it's like a fleecy swaddle and then I've also packed this pink cellular blanket and then in the final bag is the sleepers that I'm bringing so what I've done is I've packed two newborn sleepers and then one whoops one zero to three month sleeper as well for the newborn I've packed just this cream colored with some geometric print on it I've packed this like cream but it's almost like a cream that has like a tinge of like pink to it a little bit um and polka dot like dark gray polka dot sleeper it's a little wrinkly because I have it folded up and the air compressed out of all these so that they're nice and compact and then the third one is the zero to three month sleeper and it's just this one and it's pink and it has pink little flowers on it so i think that will suffice for outfits like i said before if we need more lucas will be going home nightly depending on how long i'm in hospital and he can always like grab more and bring them to me the other thing is is that because we have a doggy great pyrenees if you don't know <laughs> um we also want to make the transition for him easier he's a very nervous dog he like is nervous of new things so um, we've been looking up ways in which you can gently introduce your baby to your dog so the plan is is that Lucas will either bring like one of the outfits she was wearing or one of the vests she was wearing or even one of the blankets that she was swaddled in back home on like the first night because I'm probably gonna be there at least one night so Winston can smell it and like get used to the scent um, so that's also the plan. The only other thing that I am packing in Baby Girl's Hospital Egg, and I'm not going to show it in this video, is her kind of like the items that she's going to wear when we like post a picture of her for the first time, letting everybody know like Baby Girl is here, her name, her weight, you know the like, I forget what it's called, like basically just like, here's our baby photo. I'm not going to share what she's going to be wearing in those photos because I want it to be a surprise. And I'm still undecided between like one or two items. So that's the only other thing is that I'm going to bring it to the hospital. And if we decide we're going to take the picture there, then I have it. And if not, we'll do it at home. And the last thing is, is that we're going to bring a car seat, obviously. <laughs> Can't leave hospital without it. <laughs> we got the Uppa Baby Vista like uh, stroller travel system. So it came with a car seat. So we're going to use that car seat. Um, and then I've put this cover on it that we got at uh, our virtual baby shower and then inside I've popped in um, like a warmer fleecy blanket that we also got at our baby shower. The other thing I wanted to note is we left 
all like the instructions for this car seat in here so that if we are struggling to figure out how it works in the moment trying to get baby girl in here we can and up a baby also has some great videos online that we can look at but i decided to leave this in here so that at the hospital if we're struggling we have something to refer to and we've already put in the car the mirror and like the baby on board like little hanging thing that goes in the window um so we're already on that front as well so that's everything that i've packed in baby girl's hospital bag like i said i've tried to keep it super minimal and not overpack things because she'll probably be doing like a lot of skin to skin with me a lot of skin to skin with lucas i just don't think she needs like a lot a lot of stuff but i think this will suffice and if not lucas can grab more like i've said a million times already in this video <laughs> So that's it um if you have any suggestions of things that i'm not bringing but you think that i really should bring for baby girl please let me know in the comments below also please note that this is based on recommendations for the uk so if you live somewhere else you may not need to bring diapers or changing supplies because your hospital supplies them but here they don't so that's another thing to note also i apologize if i sound really winded in this video <laughs> I talk now and I just feel winded all the time <laughs> and to me I feel like I'm not talking too fast like I feel like I've slowed down my talk how fast I talk but I still get winded so I apologize if that's really annoying <laughs> anyways if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe I guess that's it so the last thing I want to do before I end this video is I want to show you my baby bump it is Friday right now on Monday I will be 36 weeks pregnant baby girl is growing definitely popped <laughs> I think I said that in my last like bump update and I can't remember when that was but like she's definitely bigger now and she's definitely lower and the stretch marks have arrived <laughs> I knew they would hope I was hoping they weren't going to but now it's like she's running out of room and my belly's stretching to accommodate for her and so yeah anyways i'm gonna finish off this video with showing you my bump so i will see you guys later bye all right so as you can see i'm in my pajamas <laughs> so i'll move my card again so this is me at 36 weeks almost 36 weeks pregnant mm -hmm.